Hey guys. Welcome to Monday Night Live. Can you see and hear me okay? What's Brian doing now? Is he starting trouble already? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I have some things to show. And I have some things to tell. <laughs> so let's show. And then I'll show you what I'm working on tonight. Because I was... Um, I was between a few different things to do tonight. But I'm going to do one because I need to get it started. So welcome to everyone. I see everybody coming in. Joanne and Megan, and of course my moderators, you're awesome, and Gertrude, and Vicki and Joy, and Beth, and Darnell, so many, and Deirdre. Okay, so this was a painting that we did last week. It's our diptych swipe. Um, I'm saving the other ones for after this one. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I like the way it dried. This one would definitely look better with resin. I will also be doing something with these edges, I think. Because that green is so pretty in there. So I'm going to monkey around with that. I do not have Ellen tonight, so I'm hoping that I can catch all the comments and chat if needed to be answered. Alright, so are you ready for the ones that we did? Let's start with the first one. So these were done with the drip, the folk art paint, spin drip pour. So a few weeks ago, we painted the bases, and then last week, we bloomed on them. So this was the pink one. They dried different than how we left them, because they floated around on the flow trawl a little bit, but they opened up. So I was very happy with the way that this one dried. Okay, then we did that purple, that shifty purple with the li lemon lime. Whew, that's a bright one. But I still like it. I think it was this way, that's how we had it. No, nope, it was this way, because I didn't like this here. And I still don't like that there. But that was the shifty purple that we did. Shifts from blue to purple. Actually pretty cool. Yeah, they dried nice. They took forever to dry though. Because I couldn't really pour all that flow trail off. And then this was the last one that we did on the blue. I still like it. Even though... It kind of moved out. I still like it though. Super pretty. Lots of purple shift in that one. I can't catch it on the camera though. But I can see it from my way. But yeah, they dried really pretty. I did not show these to anybody including Vic and I talk to her every day. <laughs> So tonight, I'm only doing an hour tonight because Shelly's going to do a premiere at 10. So I told her I would be done by 10. So I bought this coat rack. I bought the brown one. It was on clearance. Super cheap. So, you know, I can never leave anything alone. I'm going to paint it. Oh, thank you. So, I went ahead and sanded it to get it partway prepped but I wanted to take you through the prep process with this just a little bit so I did take the shine off didn't touch the back because we're going to tape it anyway and after I get the tape on I'll clean it with alcohol and then we're going to paint on it I don't want to bloom on it I want to paint it So let's get this taped. You want to not go all the way to the end, 
only because if you get too close, when I go to resin it, the resin's going to not adhere correctly. So I like to leave just that little sliver. Hi everyone. So yes, I have some exciting news to share. Um, after we paint this, I'll share with you all. So stick around because you have to hear what's going on. Alright, let me get one more on there. Um, I also have um, one king room left for the retreat for next year. If anyone's interested, please send me an email. So I want to get my payments in early this year. Um, so I don't have the stress of trying to collect money. <laughs> So if everybody's paid before the end of the year, we're good. Well, actually, I'd like it to be paid by November 5th. So that's my goal. So if you know anybody that wants to go, mention it to them. Um, I had a girl back out, which is fine. I totally understand. Things come up. People need to change. That's why I like to have a waiting list so that I have someone to take that spot. That way they don't lose any money. All right, so I'm gonna wipe that off with alcohol before we paint it. Thank you, Joy. And Dee, Dee I got your check today. Mary Ellen, I don't know if Ellen, yes, Ellen did put it in the bank. <laughs> Just trying to think what all is going on. All right. Let me get this cleaned. So I was playing with those stuck up pigs today. And they're not dry, but I might be able to show them to you a little bit. How they look on colored backgrounds. I'm going to put some gloves on. So my foyer is going to be gray. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a small accent wall with the navy blue like I did in the living room. But I thought we could paint this with silver and moody blue. Maybe we could add a little bit of a cellarator to put some um, cells in it that aren't silicone cells. Awesome, Mary Ellen. Thank you for letting me know that. Let's get it cleaned. I'm just spraying it with 91% isopropyl alcohol. So if you guys missed the collab yesterday with Shelly, Brian, Darnell, and Mona, please uh, make an effort to go watch. Their coasters were freaking amazing. Just blew my mind how to use pink like that and actually they just turned out beautiful so check that out all right okay so I'm gonna bring it this way so you'll be able to see it good thanks Shelly for posting that let me get something to put this on. Because I don't want to... Hmm. Let's see if this works. If not, I have two pieces of wood here. Maybe I should use those instead. That'll work. I have wood blocks if I need them. Alright, so I think what I want to do is a dirty pour. 
a dirty ribbon pour. And then I'm going to go in with some black accelerator and just kind of make some movements here and there to be where the hooks are because we have four hooks. When I resin this, I'll, pre I'll re drill the hole so I don't care if I get paint down in there or resin because I will drill them out. Is Alan here? <laughs> He's dog sitting. <clears throat> He's doing his job. <laughs> oh, that Finnegan. He's a terror. My goodness. All right, so maybe, all right, so we're gonna do some moody blue. This is a gorgeous Payne's Gray Shimmer. And then our Silver Spoon, which is an amazing, shiny, shiny silver. I have some Finnegan Gray, Shark Gray. This will have a slight violet undertone, but not bad. And maybe we'll put just a little bit of Silver Lake in there just to tone down the moody blue. Yes, Alan's dog sitting because I really don't need him out here for an hour. So I told him I'll do it tonight. <laughs> so hopefully between him and Shelly and Brian, we're good. So Joanne, I called today. So a lot of you know that I'm trying to uh, find out if my Westie is pregnant. I called today. My vet's office does not have an ultrasound machine. <laughs> so they want me to like make an appointment and someone comes in, some company comes in and all I'm like hearing is cha-ching, 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 right? So I'm going to see if I can get a hold of a breeder that may own their own ultrasound machine and see if they'll check her for me. If not, I'll probably take her to a different vet's office just for an ultrasound. Yeah, let's order one from Amazon. You're hilarious. They're actually not that expensive, Alan. I already looked at them. <laughs> but I have no need for one, so. Okay. I am not going to put a base coat down because I want to make sure I put plenty of paint on there and just let it drip like crazy. So we're going to do at least two cups because I want it kind of intertwined in place where I need it. So I went back on my calendar and it's only been three weeks. I thought today was four weeks, so yeah. All right, let's put Moody Blue in first. That'll be our last color out. And then we'll follow it with the silver spoon. And then we'll do some Silver Lake. And some Finnegan Shark Gray. It's deeper than the Silver Spoon, but it's not as shiny. We'll go back again. Hi, Kathy Mac. Lori, I checked that package again today. It is not moving, so I'm going to send you a new one. I'm sure this is plenty of paint. I want to end with, or I want to start with silver. So we'll do that one last. All right, so we're not going to get cells. Just remember that. Because I know a lot of people will be like, well, where's the cells? Because normally when I do our dirty ribbon pour, we have tons of cells. But not on this one. Okay, move those back. I'm going to give it a swirl. So when I do that, it's usually just an S. Just to blend a little. Stick is pretty. 
All right. Yeah, you want to make sure your paints aren't too thin. Because you do, you lose your composition. So I'm going to start down here. But I have to have enough to go over the sides, so I'm going to be doing a lot of overlapping a little bit here. And when I see what I don't like coming out of the cup, I'll stop because I have another whole cup. You didn't miss much, Tara. We're just pouring on a coat rack for my foyer. Something fun to do. Okay, so I know when I tilt it up, plenty of paint. Let me get my bubbles out first. When we may get some cells from that silver because it does react quite a bit. Hi, Kathy Carr. You're not missing much, Kath. <laughs> All right, let's give it some movement. I see two spots that I don't really care for, which I'll go in with some black accelerator and we'll put some lacing in. The runoff is pretty. it again. I see more bubbles coming. So when I torch, that silver opens up and gives me some very small cells. I really love this part here and not so much here. So what I think I'm going to do is maybe just a little swipe through there and maybe one down here. Because I don't want, like, I don't want it perfect. It's abstract art. <laughs> I was going to do white, and I thought, white's really not going to look good with the silver. We won't really see that much. All right. Let's throw some on here. I just made this one today because I need to get going on ornaments. So I was making, mixing up cell activators today. Alright, let's just do, let's just pull it a little bit here. And then I'm going to pull it down to here. I want it to blend in. I don't want it to stand out too much. Because I'm going to tilt it again to open that up. Thank you, Vic. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Thank you for the super chat. We love our super chats. Okay, let's go here. going to need something in the middle. This is definitely opening up quite a bit, but we don't want it to stick out like a sore thumb either. So we need a, just a little something there. Probably where that silver is. Just a little bit. I'll bring it this way. Skip it up. Here we go. Let's 
I like making stuff for the house. I don't know if you guys are the same way. I can never leave things alone. It's like I buy something, it's like, ooh, that would look cool if I painted it. <laughs> so I inherited Ellen's mom's um, corner hutch. And I have it in the kitchen. So I'm going to be painting that. And it has two glass doors. So I'm going to, I think I might stain glass those. I haven't decided yet for sure, but it definitely needs something so it can hide what's inside. All right, let's tilt just a little bit. And we'll go this way a little bit. I want it to go over the side a little bit. The swipe. I'm liking that now. Give you a little extra. Thank you, Dee Dee. I appreciate you. You're awesome. It almost makes me want to swipe the whole thing, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be good. Because <laughs> you can get carried away with swiping. All right, let me torch that again. So, honest opinion, did you like it better before I swiped it, or do you like it better with the swipes? I'm hoping, Linda, we had a tie three weeks ago, so I'm hoping we'll have some puppies. And if she is pregnant, they're due on Thanksgiving Day. Lucky me. <laughs> you like it with the swipe? On the back. Yeah, I see that. Let me turn it around. Oh, this is going to be fun. It probably would eventually roll over, but I hear you. I'm going to catch it now. Because it would be very disappointing if it's not down the sides. Thank you, Mary Ellen. She's always looking out for me. She's my girl. That's funny, Donna. <laughs> Never would have thought of that. Okay. Not worried about the holes. I know where they are. I can see the little dents. Um, I can go in right now and mark them. It's not a big deal because when you put the hooks back on, it's this paint will fall. I probably should suck these big ones out though because they're the main hole and I have tape in there. You'll find that one. Yeah, I'll wait till the paint settles. Because they're, uh, they're evenly spaced. That hole should be right here. But it's not. So I'm going to leave it alone before I start messing up the uh, design. Hello, Travel Dreamer. So, yep, I love it. So the silver will be gorgeous when it's dry, and the moody blue will be shiny, and we'll get a little bit of shimmer um, from the Finnegan Gray, and then of course the Silver Lake will be dead on shiny, because that is a metallic. So let's get those two holes sucked out first before I move this over. Always squeeze your pipette before you go in so you don't cause a bubble. Thank you, Kathy. So 
I think it'd be a cool, cool um, coat rack against a gray wall, don't you? It just kept staring at me all week, and I'm like, eh. I'm either going to have to paint you white, or I'm going to have to do something on you. So, painting it this way was more fun. But I don't pass up something on a clearance rack if I know I can change the color. <laughs> Alright, let me set up two cups so I can get that moved. it dry next week. I won't be able to resin it for about 10, 20, well 10 or 15 days I think will be good. At least two weeks. It's wood. It's going to take a little bit longer to dry inside. Hopefully it won't work. It shouldn't work. I always like to look at my table. To see what we got. Of course, I still have some in these cups. Let me throw that on a tile. doing my whole house with grays grays and blues kind of try not to go too much blue keeping it neutral so I'm going to put this down first at the base Ellen and I used to make tiles like this all the time remember for all my people that have been watching me forever. <laughs> and we used to just leave them like that. But I have some paint left, so I'll just dirty pour them a little bit. have enough here for four. This takes a little practice to get this, but once you get it mastered, it's fun to do, picking up all your leftover paint. chat screen here in a second. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh. <laughs> so they, they are actually pretty the way they are, but I still want to oomph them a little bit. So we'll just put a little bit of this dirty pour cup. There's not a lot of paint in here, so I'm just going to go corner to corner. tilt it out just to give it somewhere for the eye to rest instead of the chaos. Hi Nate. Nate did you see my post on Facebook? Hear the thunder? We got a terrible storm here right now. It 
So if you were here Thursday night, I was doing the rainbow alcohol ink tumblers. <laughs> I don't know why, but I could not for the life of me remember which order the rainbow went in. So today, <laughs> on my Facebook memories up comes the shock report that I did four years ago. And there it was, plain as day, like, hello, these are the colors in this order. <laughs> it's like, why couldn't that come up before Thursday? <laughs> it was funny. So I tagged Brian and Shelly on it. I was like, look, it's taunting me. <laughs> Let me put a little bit of Moody Blue in there. This one's a little light. Okay, so while I'm doing this, thank you, Shelly, for reminding me. Starting tonight, after the live, I'm going to go in and start a paint sale. It's going to be the Spooktacular paint sale. 15% um, off all paints the 5 ounce and the 8 ounce but wait until after the live because it, you're not going to need a coupon code it's just going to be automatic sale so that will run from today from tonight up until Halloween at midnight so grab your paints while you can um, I started mixing yesterday so I'm not too far behind on the mixing schedule so it's uh it's gonna be good it's gonna be great so i keep telling myself you know i should just write that down and stick it up here on my monitor but i think i know it now so i don't do a lot of rainbow stuff I mean, I like it when I see other people do it. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, I just don't do a lot of it. I love soft colors, and um, I'm always, of course, a fan of blues. All right, let's get this last one. This one's going to have a lot of silver in it, too. Hopefully that moody blue will come out. It's a good way to not waste your paint. Use it up. So I could actually scoop this rest of this paint up and throw it in a slot bucket for flow extender, but I don't do that because my paints have iridescent medium in them, and I don't want the shiny backgrounds on all my paintings. So let me tilt this one a little bit more. It's just too hard lined. We may have to give this one a little more paint. Come on. What do we got left there? Nothing. Okay. Let me stretch it. Yeah, these are Brian's tile stands. He has these in his Etsy shop. They are amazing when you're doing stuff like this because you don't have to worry about dropping your tile. He uses them when he does his resin too. I don't because I don't want to get resin all over them. <laughs> and I use a bun rack, so all my stuff is on cookie sheets. And I try to fit my 20 rows of resin to work all at one time in my cart. I don't resin a lot as often as I should have. There. So these are pretty. We used it up. Let me grab the other 
two. This one needs a torch. A couple bubbles there. It's a funky little set. I actually like it. It's got a fuzzy in it though. I see it already. Got it. Got it without messing it up. So yes, I have to have the paint sale going tonight. Do you notice how I'm beating around the bush? <laughs> I have a big announcement, so I'm kind of saving that towards the end here, but I think we can start talking about it. Let me get this cleaned up, though. So most of you, well, I shouldn't say most of you, but I know quite a few of you have been with me for a very long time. Um, can anyone guess how long I've been on YouTube? Pretty close, Nate. So Thursday is my five year anniversary on YouTube. So what better way to celebrate than to do a huge giveaway? So I'm not, don't, I'm not gonna have a ton of prizes. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have three prizes and they are going to be paint packs. You'll get 12 jars of paint, my choice, in the box. So it's gonna be like a mystery box and you don't have to pay any shipping. The only stipulation is, is you have to live within the United States because the shipping of the box would be outrageous to go overseas. So, in order for me to do this kind of a giveaway, thanks Shelly, um, in order for me to do a giveaway for my five year, I have to figure out a way that I can let my YouTubers um, enter. So what I've decided, since you're all here tonight, you'll get first chance to enter because I'm telling you what to do. After the live tonight, or if you can check it now, I don't know if you can or not, all you have to do is leave a comment below that says, please enter me. Please enter me. Um, and I'm going to do a random comment picker for the giveaway, which I will film. Why are you guessing numbers, Brian? <laughs> you got Dee Dee doing it now. <laughs> yes. So all I have to type is please enter me. So we will keep that. We'll keep this live taking the comments up until Thursday and I will be pulling the winner at, uh, on Thursday and I will be announcing it in a separate video and possibly on Saturday because I try to do a premiere every Saturday so that's when I will do the announcement okay so they're gonna be 12 colors that I pick though because I know what I have as popular colors um, you'll have to do it in the comments below the video. Don't do it here, guys. In the comments below the video, you may have to wait till the live is over to come back in and leave a comment. Not in the chat screen. So you can stop putting it in the chat screen because I'm not going to see that. All I'm going to see is the comments below.
Everybody can enter, including my moderators and family, because I have family that watches. They just don't say much. <laughs> so anyone can enter to win, and I'll pick that winner on Thursday. Comments aren't open yet? Okay, so you will have to come back after I shut off my live and after we go watch Shelly's premiere. We'll come back and then you can put your comments in below. Um, and just put, please enter me. I just didn't want to like do a separate video saying I'm doing a giveaway because then you've got everybody that doesn't normally watch your channel entering and I would rather offer it. Yes, Alan, you can. No, no you can't. <laughs> I just didn't want, like, everybody entering. I want the people that watch me regularly to be able to enter. Okay. So you got it? Okay. So while I have you here, let's take a look at these tiles. They're still wet, but I want to show them to you. So this one, oh, let me grab them first. So also on Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe it's 6 p.m., the new Stuck Up Pigs are being released. These jars are about a third full. That is one gram. And these are going to be $12.97. These are a high chrome shifting pigment to be used alone mostly. I like them alone. I don't like them mixed with paint. Um, so I would definitely just use these on a black or like a dark blue. Something where they pop. And of course I've used some on the um, Dragon Scale Tumblers. So those will be getting released. So the first one I'm going to show you because I did play today. Um, this is Pompous. Pompous is a shift from red, orange, black. And this is how it looks on black. Now remember, this is wet. So I can't even catch it. Isn't that terrible? So that one is Pompous. Super cool. Um, the paints that I use are just old paints, so I'm probably going to see some bubbling going on there. Okay, so and I believe this one is Pretentious, and that's the color shift that we used Saturday for the Dragon Skin tum Dragon Scale Tumbler. The shifts from purple to teal. It's hard to see the purple. Now when I'm looking at it, it's straight purple, but in the camera it's, it's the teal. But that is a fun one to play with too. And then we have, and that was done on a blueberry um, colored house paint, which was very chunky, but I didn't care because I'm just showing them off. This one is boastful. I did it on a brown paint. Look how pretty that green is. It's just so pretty. When I'm looking at it this way, I see a turquoise blue. And I can't catch that for you. Bummer. But it's the most gorgeous shade of blue coming from my side. So these were so much fun to play with. I definitely am going to mix them up and do sets of coasters with them, which we'll put probably into our functional art auction that I want to do sometime in November. So we'll be watching for that as well. And then Thursday we did the tumblers, our rainbow tumbler. And I did this one here. I'm going to do some sea life on this one. I found, um, I have some water slides and I also found my Sisex uh, seawater life. I'll be cutting some skins and maybe sticking them on there and resining these. They're super cute. But I really love the way that they come out. They were fun. Very much fun. 
So after the live on Thursday, I did this one to show Susan, but I know Susan's on a trip. But you can just blow those on tile and resin them. You could add all kinds of things to this and then just resin them as coasters. But they do, they come out amazing. And of course, this was the koozie that I did. This is not a tumbler. This is something you stick your beer can in, you know, the slim cans. It's a, um, to keep it cold. But this is one I did, and I added the rainbow ink on the bottom. But they're fun to play with. So, I'm going to do one giveaway tonight. Because y'all stuck around. And it's going to be for a kiss. These are my Christmas colors. Barn Red Shimmer and Ellie's Evergreen. I'm going to get myself a number. Alan's not here, so bear with me. Guess slowly. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Alright, so I have my number. And, um... We're going to kick it, guys. Giveaway time. So if everybody's ready to go, I'm not sure if you guys have been refreshing or whatever. Don't guess any numbers yet. Not yet. Not yet. Hold up. Those numbers are not counting. Not until I say go. Hmm. So everything above does not count, so I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> so there's my number. On your mark, get set, go. I have a winner. Stop, please. Stop. Melody Gable was my winner with number five after I said go. So Mary O'Neill, you had it. You should have waited. <laughs> so Melody, make sure you send me your mailing address and I will get these out to you tomorrow. So you'll get to try out some Parash Pussy paint. Uh, the Massey Boys, I sent them some paint. They're going to be doing some videos with it. I know Lee is going to be blobbing with it, which will be fun to watch. You're welcome, Melody. Thank you for watching tonight. All right, guys. So we have 13 minutes to kill. If you have questions, let's get them out here. <laughs> um, Shelly's going to do her premiere at 10. So I want to go and make sure that we support her, give her some views. Dee Dee's way behind. She just heard the gong. <laughs> Poor Dee Dee. <laughs> so, no questions, guys. Come on. There's got to be something you want to ask me. I am wide open tonight. We try to keep it fun on our channel here. Um, I I do everything. Like, I pour paint. I bloom. I resin. Um, we do a lot of functional art. I have clocks in my Etsy shop that we did. What's for dinner tomorrow, Vic? You're funny. <laughs> okay, so, okay. We had a viewer, and I would love to go back and find out who it was. She named us, she named it the Parage. Um, it was way back when we first started doing lives. I really wish I could remember who it was to give her props because we have carried this name into everything, including our products. Uh, Donna, the sale will be until October 31st at midnight. Well, 11.59. Uh, Lori, yes, you can resin a canvas after you've varnished it. Yep. No, my kitchen is not finished. <laughs> they have to come and fix my floor before I can go any farther. 
When did I have my first kiss? Oh gosh, <laughs> third grade. <laughs> You're funny, Joanne. <laughs> um, I I'll do a studio tour someday. I, it's just a mess, like a really big mess right now. I was looking at flooring today and thinking to myself, I would have to rent a couple of those pods to move everything out of here to do the floors and then move everything back in. We do have fun here, Kathy, don't we? <laughs> okay, so on the metallics, Emily, um, I always put the flow trawl in first. So if you're using two ounces of paint, you're going to use two ounces of flow trawl just to loosen it up. Then add a little bit more flow trawl so you get it to a kind of a pouring consistency. And then I add my glue all. If you're not using glue all, you're just going to go ahead and use your flow trawl. If I were you, though, I definitely would add some kind of binder. Whether it be GAC 800 or Liquitex pouring medium, you want something in there for a binder. Flow trawl just breaks it up. Yeah, Alan, I was looking at it, Ted. I haven't told you yet. <laughs> no, it was not Ellie Mac that called us the Parage, Nate. It was somebody else. And I don't think it was Trina. Do you remember Trina used to be a moderator? I don't think it was her either. I am wide open, Joanne. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah, it's not... It's not what I call a mess. I'm just disorganized right now. I have too much going on. Yes, definitely try the piggies. If you're just starting out with blooming, I wouldn't start with these because of the expense, but you definitely could start with just some regular TLPs. And I have um, videos how to mix those for pouring. Yes, we are the Praj Posse. It's how we pour. <laughs> so the reason that I have that name is because we pour in our garage. So we, she just called us the Porage. I loved it. We stuck with it. Yes, I have too much stuff, Alan, for sure. I miss Allie very much. Someday I hope she'll pop in on us. So then we had started a Facebook group, the Praj Posse with Christina Welch. And now we do the beach retreat where I have some of you come spend a week with me at the beach. It's so much fun. It's just a vacation. I mean, we sit around, we have cocktails after painting. We laugh the entire night. It's, it's just a ball. I, I'm going to miss it someday when we can't do it anymore because... Yes, you are, Joy. She's a proud member of the posse. Yes, she is. We met Joy this year at, at the retreat. It's fun to meet people that we talk to every Monday night on the screen. And it's fun to paint with them. I had a lot of aha moments this year with girls that were struggling with a technique. And once I said, you've got to feel your paint. You've got to see how it spreads. Once they got that, they went home knowing how to paint, you know. So this year, I'm, this next year, I'm not teaching, but we are going to do, if someone needs help, I will do one-on-ones with them to keep them up at that. And yes, we do laugh at Vicki. She's a riot. Vic is our um, concierge. <laughs> she greets everybody, has them sign their liability contracts, shows them to their rooms, and then she runs my little Paraj Posse store for me. Because I sell um, apparel and I sell paint while we're at the beach. We have uh, Brian send his toys. We sell his toys. And yes, Emily, I am going to be starting channel memberships in January. I'm not going to be doing Tutorial Thursday nights anymore. Those are going to be special videos for my channel members. But however, on Monday nights, if I'm showing you something, I'm definitely going to have it like a tutorial so that you can learn something. It's not just going to be a free-for-all painting night. Yes, we have a big house next year. We have 18 bedrooms next year, so we're going to have fun. So if you aren't a member of the Prash Posse on Facebook, 
come join us. Um, we're not a busy group. We don't have a lot of posts in there. But come in, show us your work, hang out with us a little bit. You'll hear the announcements for what we've got going on on the channel, as well as our events. It's just a lot of fun. And also I have my Christina Welch art page on Facebook. You can follow me there too. All right, guys, let's wrap it up. We need to uh, go check out Shelly. She played with um, some bubbles. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. Yes, newbies are allowed. You just have to answer three little questions to get in my group. So it's super easy. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Um, just kind of letting me know you're going to behave yourself. <laughs> it's super easy. <laughs> But I love you guys. Thank you for the donations tonight, Vic and Dee Dee. I love you too. And um, I will see you guys here Thursday night for Tutorial Thursday. And on Friday for the giveaway. Or is that Thursday? Oh my. It might be Thursday, huh? No, it's Friday. So Friday, I, I'll do the drawing Friday instead of Saturday. All right, guys. Let's go to Shelly's. She popped her link up. All you gotta do is click on it and head over to her channel. And I'll see you Thursday. Bye now.